All right, some of you have been waiting for this for a very long time. If you're a roofer or somebody that's siding, you might really like this video. If you're not that person that does roofing and siding, you're still gonna really like this video. Stick around, spend some time with me, I miss you. So what do we have today? Well, again, this is something that people have been asking for for years, years, every year during the pipeline events, the MPS events, do they have it? Do they have it? Well, now they do. This is the cordless roofing nailer, but it does something cool with siding. I brought up siding earlier. They got something cool going on with this. I got to use this hands-on and just for the small demonstration that I was able to use, it's something in my eyeball. It worked good. Now, I'm just going to throw this out here. I, I'm not going to bring this to the channel because I ain't climbing. I'm done with heights. Done with heights. I ain't climbing no roofs anymore. 379 bear tool, 479 for the kit. What's in the kit? Not really sure. I do have videos and I do have pictures that I'm going to show you. But let's read through this and see what we got going on. All right. So committed to driving innovation, says Milwaukee for the professional. Uh, this is supposed to be the fastest cordless coil roofing nailer on the market with the new M18 fuel coil roofing nailer. The coil roofing nailer, I say that a lot of times. In this paragraph, the coil roofing nailer improves productivity on the job sites with firing speeds of up to six nails per second. And if, if you've ever seen a roofer, they're boom, 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 boom. From what I remember using this, and I have a full video of the pipeline event I'll put at the end of this one you can check out. I do remember this thing being crazy fast. 1,100 nails per charge and roofing and vinyl siding versatility. So. 1100 nails per charge is that on a five amp hour not really sure it doesn't say from what i'm seeing but maybe down further in the article uh through field research we identified that users were not satisfied with existing solutions on the market professionals demand faster firing speeds longer run time and more versatility for small jobs and repairs said brian bunner product manager by delivering a faster firing speed and creating an attachable vining sidle siding tip i can't i can't talk today uh, the M18 fuel coil roofing nailer allows users to complete jobs faster and improves productivity. That's a lot of repeat words in here. Um, so here's the thing for small jobs and repairs. Is this not for an entire roof install or is he only using it for small jobs and repairs? Because I notice he's not saying that I'm using this for an entire roof install. I'm using it for small jobs and repairs. So maybe like dog houses and sheds. And repairs on those dog houses and sheds. I'm not sure. By combining nitrogen air, spring technology, power state, brushless motor, and red link intelligence, the M18 fuel coil roofing nailer has rapid fire performance. It can set nails or seat nails at firing rates up to six nails per second. I, mean, I, I know this. This higher speed firing rate solves a major user pain without the existing cordless roofing nailers. First off, I still see a lot of people using corded. Uh, and what I mean by that is like the, the pneumatic. I'm still seeing a ton of people using pneumatic nailers. Not not too many people using the cordless nailers on any brand from what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because they're heavier. I don't know if it's because they're more expensive. I don't know if it's because they're not getting as much run time. I'm not really sure. But I'm still seeing tons of pneumatic tools on the job when it comes to these. Um, you know, it's just something that you know, a roofer might say, I need this now. When paired with the M18 red lithium high output 3.0 battery pack, the nailer can sync up. Okay, so 3.0, good. They added that. Uh, it can sync up to 1,100 nails. So if you're doing with like a 5.0, something larger, which I doubt you will because it's going to make it heavier. That's a lot of nails for 3.0, so that's pretty real nice. Like, providing best-in-class runtime and supplemental usage professionals are provided. The ability to maximize their productivity on the job. A lot of repeat productivity. I think they're just trying to nail that home. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. For increased versatility. They keep saying it. For increased versatility. The M18 fuel coil roofing nailer features an attachable vinyl, vinyl siding tip and gives you... This was what was cool. All right, let me just get through this here. Okay. I'm going to get through this. I'll show you the pictures and I'll show you uh, the video. Uh, so kit weight is 8.6 pounds. So that's with everything. Bear tool weight. 7.3 pounds there's your height there's your length there's your width drive system it's nitrogen air spring technology I, you know 
I use that framing nailer of mine a lot. And I never had to refill or anything like that. I'm curious if you ever had that issue. Like if you use the framing nailer. It's just going to run off the same system, basically. Uh, fastener length, uh, three quarter inch, points three quarter inch. Uh, and then maximum fastening length, one and three quarters. Uh, max, maximum magazine capacity. I'm, half, I'm, I'm like stroking out here. 120 nails. Magazine capacity, 120. Kit includes the M18 fuel, roofing nailer, vinyl siding tip, attachment, M18 3 amp hour, CP high output, and M18 M12 multi-volt charger. Okay, it's not going to be the rapid. Um, now, what I will say is this. The kit, I'm guessing, even if you buy this tool only, you should still get the siding tip. So let me show you the video here real quick and then we'll go over some pictures. Maybe they'll have pictures of just the tip. I kid. So here's the deal. Um, this is stupid. I'm going to turn the volume down on this because number one, they play horrendous music that always gets me copyrighted. And number two, it's the same thing. These guys talk and they're like, it's the best nailer I've ever used in my life. It shoots nails. I, I think it's real nice. Like it's something special. Yeah. I'll never use another nailer again. I'll just show the thing in action. All right, so this dude's starting out on a roof. I don't do roofs anymore. I, the older I get, the more scared I get of heights. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like ladders. I don't like roofs. I don't like steps. I don't like couches to sit up too high or chairs. I don't like them. Anyway, Red Link Plus Intelligence. And uh, here's the thing. So this is going to be a little bit heavier than your pneumatic. But would you trade that off a little bit heavier for a little bit more freedom, no hoses or anything? Or would you rather have lighter and dragging a hose around all over the place? 1,100 nails per charge. I'm curious, let me comment that. Should we comment section below? This is what I like about this. And this worked very, very well. There's a tip that goes on here. And I, I, I think there's other manufacturers that sort of have the same technology, the versatility. But you can see it's not driving that nail down all the way because you don't want that. You want that side to be able to move when it gets so hot and cold and all that stuff. But it worked very, very well with that tip. The tip goes on, line it up with your siding, boom, and it sinks that nail perfectly and it gives it enough gap, enough space. You don't have to worry about that thing going too far up against the woodage. So I really did think this thing worked good, but it was, it was heavier. Uh, yeah, I guess on pictures, I don't like the roofs not anymore. I never really did like heights, but I really don't like them now because I'm older. I'm like 46 years old. If I fall off a roof, I ain't getting back up like ever. I'm just going to lay there for the rest of my life because I don't recover good anymore. So I'm poor back. All right. So he's roofing. You can see that. I don't like to explain that to you. He's right up on the edge of that roof and it makes me nervous. I know he got the fall protection. He got the sort of a lanyard on there going on with that ropage. But still, I don't, I don't want to dangle there. I don't want to fall and just hang there and people laugh at me like I'm, like I'm a pinata. End up with blood rushing in my head and my feet. I don't like it. This guy here is like, I'm just taking a break. Because that roof and nail is probably a little heavy. My wrist. I don't know. That's a cool picture, though. I like it. Oh, it, it looks like they're doing new construction. So these people are putting on all the siding. I would love this for the siding. I ain't doing siding no more. I'll do the bottom of the house when it comes to siding. I ain't climbing. You can do that. But here's the thing. You don't want to sit there and hammer all day. Something like this. Boom. Move whatever. Boom. Move whatever. Boom. That is awesome. You know, as far as it goes with the weight and the roofing, though, you're, you're sort of going downwards, too. So it's not like you're holding it up like this. You're going down. So it might not be as bad, but it's definitely going to be a little heavier. I don't know. I thought it worked really well when I used it. I don't want to use it again because I ain't roofing. Have I mentioned I'm scared of heights? I don't like them. This I can see. See, see that nail right here? How that's just sticking out enough? Maybe like a eighth or a little bit more than an eighth. But that's what you want right there. And that's what that nailer and that tip's doing. It prevents it from going too far in. So it worked really good from what I was saying. They're just showing the guy walking with it. Let's do like a slow motion walk. You got the rafter hook. Better men than me. Because of those heights, I don't like it. I don't like them at all. 
Would you do a whole roof of that? I'm curious to know what you think in the comment section. So there you go. Uh, looks like they're available now. I'll be able to... Uh... <coughs> I saw the roofing nails go in. Roofing nails go in. I'll try to attach this in the description below. Let me know what you think. That's a tip. It's just a tip. Just a tip. Right there. It's meaty. It's beefy. It goes on there. stays on there. And you can see those little rods right here. The little pins. That's what gives it the gap. You don't have to worry about adjusting the nailer depth. Put it in there and it'll prevent it from going and sinking all the way in. It's real nice. Like, this guy's like, heights don't bother me. I'm just going to climb this ladder. Because I'm a man. Well, I'm a man. I'm a man who don't like heights. Scary. Back in more videos soon.